Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number 15 from the October, November 2021 pure um, GCE, IGCSE paper from um, Cambridge. This is 0580. This is paper 2, variant 1 of this exam. And this question is on page 8. This is about similarity. It says here, the diagram shows three shapes that are mathematically similar. So all these three shapes are mathematically similar. So you've got this small kind of flag kind of shape and then this one in the middle and the, and the big one. The heights of the shapes are in the ratio small to medium to large, one to five to eight, the heights. Find the ratio of the shaded area, which is this part. It's like, it's like the medium one, take away the small one, you could say, um, to the total unshaded area. So it's just the white parts, all right, without the shaded part. Okay, so what we can do here is, first of all, we've got to think about the ratio of the areas. All right, we're given the ratio of the lengths. So we're going to think about the ratio of the areas of these shapes. Now, I know that the ratio of the areas, if we think about the areas, is the square of the ratios of the lengths for similar shapes. So the ratio of the areas will be small to medium to large. is going to be basically a 1 to 25 to 64. That would be if that's the ratio of the lengths, that's the ratio of the areas. The ratio of the areas is the square of the ratio of the lengths for similar shapes. And we're told here they're mathematically similar. All right, so that's very important for us to realize. So now, knowing that, we can now try to figure out um, what portion of this is the shaded area. The shaded area is basically the mi middle one, but take away the part in the middle. So it's like the shaded area is going to be. We think about the shaded area as a, um, a proportion. The shaded area is going to be 25 minus 1. Okay. And then we've got the total unshaded area. Total unshaded area. So that's 25 minus 1, which is going to be 24. To the total unshaded area is just this, this, just this part over here. So it's basically the whole thing take away 25. Uh, it's going to be, well, actually, no. It's going to be 64, take away 25. Or you can say it's going to be 25, take away 1, actually. 25, oh, the unshaded area, sorry. Unshaded area is the whole thing, take away this part here, the part that's shaded. So it's going to be the whole thing, take away what we just found here. It's going to be the whole thing, which is 64 minus 24, which is going to be 40. So 64 minus this part we just found, right? The unshaded area. It's the white part. So you could say it's it's going to be the whole thing minus this part we just said was shaded. So it's the whole thing, which is 64 minus 24. Right? So that's the ratio. We need 25 to 40 in its simplest form. Well, I think uh, what goes into both of these, 6 goes into both of these. If you divide by 6, in fact, even 8 goes into both of these. That's probably e easier. 8 will go into both of these. Um, 24 divided by 8 is 3, 40 divided by 8 is 5, so the ratio is 3 to 5. So there's the answer to that question number 15. It's all about similarity, but you've got to be a bit careful here, all right? Because um, we're looking at the shaded area and the unshaded area, you've got to think a bit carefully. Okay, but the key to answering this is understanding that the ratio of the areas is the square of the ratio of the lengths. If you're talking about volumes, for example, the ratio of the volumes would be the cube of the ratio of the lengths and so on. All right, so that's the key to understanding what to do, but then you have to be a bit, it's a bit tricky with the area. So you say the shaded area is this part, the medium one minus the small one, and the unshaded area is the whole thing, okay? But you gotta take away the shaded part, which we just found as 24. So that gives us the answer. And there's your answer to part uh, question number 15. Okay, I will save this under similarity. So you'll, you'll have a playlist here with the other questions from this particular paper. You'll have a playlist here on, under similarity. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.